For years, people have been talking about moving America towards a clean energy economy. The Union of Concerned Scientists is charting a course to get there. Biofuels are an important part of our clean energy future, and it's not as far off as you might think. Researchers and entrepreneurs are making fuel out of corn stalks, wood chips, even ordinary household garbage. Not 50 years from now, but real progress right now on energy security, jobs, and climate change. To get there, we need to move these next generation fuels out of the laboratory and up to commercial scale. This year, the United States will spend more than $5 billion on tax credits for biofuels, but less than 1% of that will go for next generation cellulosic biofuels. Almost all the support goes to well-established, mature fuels like corn ethanol. We need to move some of that support to next generation biofuels made from sources other than food. The Billion Gallon Challenge is an effort to build the support and policies we need to move these next generation biofuels out of the laboratory and into our gas tanks. Advanced biofuel companies need help financing their facilities. And for that, they need to attract investors. But with all the financial instability we've seen recently, potential investors are holding back. Investment tax credits and loan guarantees can stimulate the private investment needed to fund the first plants and get us moving towards that first billion gallons. Here in Illinois, we have identified promising non-food bioenergy crops like this miscanthus. This tall grass is extraordinarily productive and can be grown in places unsuitable for crop production, leaving our most fertile farmland in food production. By focusing on non-food-based biofuels, we can increase our energy security without compromising our food system. We need high-yielding crops like miscanthus if we are going to achieve our nation's goals of tripling biofuel production and reducing greenhouse gas emissions cost-effectively over the next 12 years. But we also need new cellulosic biorefineries to make the miscanthus into fuel. To meet our policy mandates for cellulosic biofuels, it is important to start building the first commercial biorefineries now. We need incentives that recognize the benefits of clean next generation cellulosic biofuels that reduce our dependence on oil and significantly reduce greenhouse gases compared to gasoline. Performance-based policies that reward the producers of biofuels made from crops like miscanthus can help develop a sustainable mix of biofuel feedstocks. America has big plans for next generation cellulosic biofuels with a mandate that grows to 16 billion gallons over the next 12 years. In 2022, cellulosic biofuels would be the largest source of biofuel and a big step forward on energy security and climate change. Current policies are not providing effective support for next generation biofuels and the vital first facilities are not being built. But with smart policies, we can save taxpayer dollars and ensure that biofuels play a key role in America's clean energy economy. Please join us in supporting the Billion Gallon Challenge.